Hi, this is Fred Litt. Welcome to Workflow in Style, where you will learn to use your personal technology to be more organized, make better presentations, and enhance your bottom line. Our topic is PowerPoint, a college project. In this two-part series, you will simulate a real-life college assignment. You will create a well-constructed, eye-catching, and engaging slideshow. Here are the details. Student Pat Smith must give a 10-minute presentation for course Intro to Technology 101 at Home State College. The topic is Favorite Productivity Tools. You must use Microsoft PowerPoint 2013, and the slideshow must be named properly and also saved in PDF format. This is part one, where you will learn easy-to-use techniques to quickly create a basic PowerPoint slideshow. In part two, you will add a theme, images, and a video, and will learn to save your work as a PDF file. Let's get started. We begin by creating a folder for our project. So I place the mouse tip in the center of the desktop, right-click once. Go down to New, up to Folder, and I'm going to use my naming scheme, Info 101, which is the course name, followed by the date, followed by the student's name, followed by space-space, space, and the project name, Favorite Productivity Tools. I hit the Enter key. Now I have my project folder. I'm going to open up the folder by double-clicking, and now I'm going to create my PowerPoint slideshow file. Place the mouse tip inside the folder, right-click one time. Go down to New, and on the right I look for Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, left-click. Now using my naming scheme, I'm going to name this PowerPoint presentation file. I'm going to call it Info 101, again the date. But when I create a file, I use a code that tells me the content of the file. So this is going to be a slideshow. So I'm going to create a code called slide, which tells me what's inside the file, followed by the student's name, space dash space, favorite productivity tools. Hit the Enter key. I've now created a project folder and my PowerPoint slideshow file. Now we're ready to begin creating our slideshow. So I'm going to double click on the PowerPoint slideshow file and we're ready to go. Now I like to use outline view when creating my slides. So I'm going to click on view, move the mouse tip over to the left and click on outline view. Now just a little strategy before we begin. Whenever I create a slideshow, I always begin with the following three slides. The project title slide, an introduction slide, and a conclusion slide. So without worrying about the content slides or any other features of the slideshow, I'm just going to start including those. So I'm going to click on Click to Add First Slide, and let me put in the title of the project. Now I go back to the title slide, which is Favorite Productivity Tools. Now I'm going to add the subtitle information, which includes the student names and some additional project information. So I place the mouse tip at the end of Favorite Productivity Tools. I'm going to hit the Enter key. I press the Tab key, which allows me to add content to the slide. So I'm going to begin by putting in the student's name, Pat Smith. Then I'm going to put in the name of the course, Then the professor's name, which is me, and then finally the date. So as you can see, we have a nice title slide to begin our presentation. Now let's focus on the introduction slide. I use this to simply list the titles of the content slides that I will include very shortly. So I'm going to place the mouse tip at the end of Introduction. I'm going to hit the Enter key and then the Tab key. And now I'm going to list the productivity tools that will be the focus of my subsequent slides. So let's begin with Gmail, Enter. Then we'll have Dropbox, Adobe Acrobat, iPhone, and finally Lynda.com. So these are five productivity tools for which we will create content slides right now. 
hit the enter key and I'm going to promote this bullet to become a slide by either right clicking and going promote or I could have hit shift tab. So now I'm going to create a slide for each one of my favorite productivity tools. So let's do Gmail, Dropbox, Adobe Acrobat, iPhone, and lynda.com. So as you can see, our presentation is coming together very quickly and very nicely. So I'm going to click on Slide Sorter to give me a quick thumbnail view of what my presentation is starting to look like. So let's go back to Outline View and let's start adding some content to each one of my content slides. So now I'm going to add some bullets to Gmail. So I place the mouse tip at the end of Gmail and I hit the Enter key and then the Tab key. Now I'm ready to start adding bullets for Gmail. Google Mail, easy to learn and use. Free. Looks pretty good. Let's do the same for Dropbox. We place the mouse tip at the end of Dropbox, hit the Enter key, hit the Tab key. Cloud file storage, available on most desktop and mobile devices. And you get two gigabytes for free or you get one terabyte for about a hundred dollars a year. Starting to look pretty good. Place the mouse tip at the end of Adobe Acrobat, hit the Enter key, hit the Tab key. So for Adobe Acrobat you can create and modify PDF files. You can create PDF files from most file types and this requires a purchase or subscription. Let's go to the iPhone, hit the Enter key, hit the Tab key. The iPhone is the Apple smartphone. It provides telephone and internet access and the price depends upon the cellular carrier. And finally, we have lynda.com. lynda.com is an online video learning website, and it's perfect for business and technology professionals, and it requires an annual or monthly subscription. Perfect. So now let's finish with our conclusion slide at the very bottom. So I click at the end of conclusion, I hit the enter key and the tab key. Now on the conclusion slide I always put comments and questions which I use to engage the audience at the end. And then I put in a second bullet additional resources. And then under this, I'm going to hit an additional tab key to create yet another bullet, and I might put in some websites. For example, lynda.com, adobe.com, and I can put in whatever I like. So now let's take a look at what we've created. So I'm going to move the mouse tip up to the top to slide sorter. So now I can see how my presentation is coming together. So we've done a great job laying out our presentation. So now let's start adding some additional components to give our presentation a professional look. So with that, I want to insert footers and page numbers. So let's move the mouse tip up to insert and then off to the right to header and footer. So now let's add a footer to each one of our slides which will include a date and a description and also let's add page numbers. So I'm going to click on date and time and I can either have the presentation automatically update every time we open the slideshow or we can have a fixed date. So I'm going to click on fixed date and I'm just going to type in the date May 20th 2015. Now I want a slide number on each one of the slides so I'm going to check this 
And then on footer, I always like to include my name and the course name. So in the footer, we're going to include the student's name and the course name. So we'll put in Pat Smith, Introduction to Technology 101. Now another professional concept is you never put the footer and the page number on the first slide. So I'm going to check on Don't Show on Slide, and now we're ready to see what this looks like. So I'm going to click on Apply to All, and now let's take a quick look at each one of the slides, and I'm going to click on Favorite Productivity Tools, and now I'm going to go to the next slide, and you can see at the very bottom we have the date, we have a description including the student's name and the name of the course, and you can see we have the page number. Very nice. This concludes Part 1, PowerPoint, A College Project. Please look for Part 2, where you will add a theme, images, and a video, and will learn to save your work as a PDF file. I hope this video has given you new ideas to help you save time and stay competitive. If you found this presentation helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Workflow and Style channel. Your comments and recommendations are always appreciated. This is Fred Litt. Thanks for watching.